So as you guys mentioned, the important thing here is what can be done for these families. It's cold. We're a few weeks away from Christmas. Uh, it's a tough time, you know, to be out of your apartment without your belongings. So the Red Cross, along with city agencies, are setting up kind of a makeshift help center here at Bronx Community College. It's a place where people who are displaced can come and figure out next steps. That being uh, the key term here, what does the next few days look like for these families? And so that is what they are set up here doing yesterday. That um, help center was at the school that's nearby. But again, we talk about all of the damage that happened here, but really we're talking about families who called those places homes. And if, if you look closely at the video from yesterday, you can see all of their personal belongings. Uh, I think Shirlene earlier called it a, a dollhouse like view into these homes. You can see uh, pictures on the walls. Uh, there are furnitures, furniture inside. We saw a bed as well. Now again, the damage was contained to one corner of this building, but the entire building had to be evacuated. The Red Cross's 37 families were placed in hotels. Uh, they will be there through tonight. Ten other families chose to stay with family or friends. And our Joe Torres talked to some of the people who were home at the time of the collapse, and they recalled the terrifying moments as they uh, had to run out for their lives. No sabemos dónde nos iremos a quedar. Marjorie Medal said, "We don't know where we're going to stay." What happened is we have the kids and we don't know. Our concern is for the kids. Again, uh, the Red Cross is asking people who are displaced to show up here to Bronx Community College. They'll be here with members of various city agencies who will be able to help them figure out next steps. They'll be here until 6 o'clock tonight. Now, if they can't make it, they're asking people to call 877 Red Cross to get help. Again, they do want to connect with every single family member uh, that is impacted by all of this.